Okay, movie prop collectors, this is going to be the first of many series of videos of just going down and showing off each individual piece and talking about it that is for sale. Going down the line, we have Jack Sparrow's stunt sword from Pirates of the Caribbean 4, two of the long swords from Hercules. These are the Bessie, not Bessie Clan, I'm sorry, the uh, the centaur guys. This is from King Arthur. This is um, the character Boar's stunt sword. It's rubber. This is a uh, steel gladius and scabbard from Spartacus TV series. This is another steel Spartacus hoplite uh, rebel sword. This is one of the main character swords from Spartacus. Uh, the character Pericles that fights um, Crixus. This is another character, I believe the character's name is Donus, um, one of the rebels, and that is also a steel, a hero of steel. This is a hero aluminum Gannicus sword, a bird sword from Spartacus. So these, this section is all Spartacus, Spartaci. These are two hoplite swords from the Cotis. Uh, Army and Hercules, the new Hercules. This is a, a hero aluminum with resin poured grit and pommel and hilt and a resin scabbard from Underworld, Rise of the Lycans. These two swords are from Chronicles of Narnia. This one is from the first film. This is a fawn sword. It's a stunt resin and this is a rough forged sword that was used pretty much as set dressing. It's a centaur short sword from the second film um, Prince Caspian when they're making all the weapons. Moving on, this is a, the stunt staff that is used by the character Ang in The Last Airbender and has all the details of the flying machine when the wings pop out of the staff. This is staff right here with the blade on the end is the hero working aluminum bladed um, Ampharius staff from Hercules. This is also from Last Airbender. This is a water tribe sword, one of the hero aluminum ones. This is another hero aluminum fire tribe. Now those pieces right there are cast bronze. This is very, very intricately made. Um, uh, this particular sword is one of my favorites, uh, but all of that is metal castings, whereas the Water Tribe is just resin. Over here we have a dead Spartan cape with a replica clasp that I got from Museum Replicas, and a resin or fiberglass version of the Spartan's shields, and the back side of it has the leather and the wood and the grip and everything. This is a heavyweight one. Has all the battle damage. Moving on, this is a club from 13th Warrior. And that is one of the Wendell clubs with the rubber blades. Uh, these four poker chips are from Rush Hour 2, from the Red Dragon Casino. This little blade right here is from I Am Legend. This is the knife that breaks off in Will Smith's leg. This knife right here is a bloodletting knife from The Matrix. Uh, one of the, I think it's Matrix Revolution, where Agent Smith possesses one of the crew member and the crew member cuts himself to feel what it's like to be human. This baton is from Elysium. This is a hero extending steel baton. It's been duct taped. I believe it's from one of the main characters, but you never know with that one, because I think even the robot police use these kind of batons. This baton is static. It's a peacekeeper baton from the Hunger Games. This is an old piece right here. It's a bunch of stack of, of oversized bills and a, a uh, program from the horse race from the movie Popeye with Robin Williams. And here is a boot. It's an aluminum boot missing the upper half but this is from face off 
and a section of the rubberized panel that is supposed to be magnetic and stop that boot and stop the inmates in the tracks. That's a, a helmet from Troy. This is a rubber helmet used by Brad Pitt's elite fighters called the Myrmidon. And um, that one's uh, very rare. The, you don't see very many of those. This is a Scutum from Gladiator. It's going to require oversized shipping, but it's uh, uh, the, the real deal. It's nice and heavy and got metal fittings and canvas over, uh, I believe it's some kind of a wood, some kind of a uh, flexible wood, but it's hard. This an ornate shield is from Prince of Persia. This is a softer one. It's got a padded front leather grips and this is from Troy as well like the Myrmidon helmet this is the opposing side this is a Trojan uh, Greek shield these two swords are from the recent auction uh, from profiles in history they're Lord swords uh, the corresponding colors match certain lords I gotta look those up and see which lords they are but they were not ones that were main main characters uh, they didn't have any speaking lines, but they are marked. Um, this set of arrows is from the uh, Hercules. It's one of the uh, Bessie clan arrows. Uh, I'm going to sell these either individually or as a group. And last is these two maps. Are these two maps? Giant maps. Um, they are from League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, and they are screen used. Um, and they are also superimposed when the film is using uh, the map to zoom in and draw the lines like Indiana Jones flying. Um, they do the same thing with it. One of these maps is what it is. I have not screen matched which one is used. Uh, maybe even both of them, but they are both uh, from the production on site, on set. And these are consignments from the prop master. Thank you. This is the first video of set of props that I have. Please private message me for any pricing uh, and bids that you want to put on any of these and I can respond with what costs what. Thank you.